Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. Ecosong started um, really from kind of a labor of love. Uh, several of us were playing music, some students, some faculty, and we gradually started to see that it could have some greater purpose. I'm a professor in communication studies, and I'm also a fellow at the Institute on the Environment. A lot of this comes out of my research. I did research with musicians in the Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, who I was really impressed by how they use creativity and media in their music, and adopted a lot of that as sort of lessons for then applying in my own more hyper-local kind of, of way. I started calling it field to media, field research, and then you produce some media as opposed to the typical, say, ethnomusic college, whatever that goes, and you, you study a, a group of people, you write about it, and it kind of stays there. How do you collaboratively work with them? The fun thing about all this is we prepare the songs and get all this together, and I storyboard and do all that. But that's sort of just a starting point. Then when we start working with the community, it becomes something totally different and unexpected, which is great. It becomes 